Hey everybody, Steven here playing Subnautica Below Zero. Today showcasing a handful of different updates that they've done just this week. Some of these are actually, I'm pretty sure that they're old, it's just, and one of them is actually just the updates to the caves in the Glacial Basin. I just haven't been in any of these in a while, and uh, they look really, really good. Like just seeing the running water and the waterfalls that they have. Um, like I said, it's it's been a minute since I've actually been in here, and I uh, didn't realize they had actually done this much. So, we're going to walk around in here for a second. I am going to show the Ice Worm Snow Stalker interaction, because they do have that in-game now. Which is awesome. And then we'll look at a couple other things that they've done. Yeah, just the amount of polish that they've put into this has been amazing. It looks really, really good. Another thing, if we can find it, I'm thinking I'm leading my way back out, yeah. So these are tricky to navigate. I've also found a bunch of, and I'm not going to cover it in this video, but a bunch of different little areas that the spy penguin goes into. So I will do a video just kind of exploring all of this more, but I do want to find the baby snow stalkers. I didn't realize that they had an interaction like, this looks really cool. But I didn't realize that you could interact with them. So we're going to go do that really, really quick. So yeah, it's looking it's looking good in here. They've definitely put in a ton of work. Alright. Let's go find one of these guys. Alright, here we go. Check this out. Oh, juvenile. There it is. And watch. <laughs> That's really cool. And it's the same every single time. I don't think you can give it anything. No. Alright, so they have that in there, like I said. I think that's actually been in there for a while. Whoa. And just the amount of polish that they've put into these guys. So yeah, there's a lot of little nooks and crannies I need to explore, but for now, we are going all the way over here. Let's see if we can see the ice worm attacking the snow stalker. There it is, there it is. Oh, you see it? It'll do it, it'll do it again. So it literally throws it up in the air. Oh, come on. But it throws it up in the air, and then it eats it. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. There it is. There it is. Oh, there's another one. How cool is that? <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see if it'll do it again, and I'm going to try and slow it down. Let's see. Maybe I'll spawn some in. Oh, there it is. Look at it, look at it. Oh, ho, ho. oh man. Whoa, what is this one doing? Oh, I guess that's how it disappears, right? Let's see. Let's go point one. There it is. Oh, it's going to be good. Oh. Look at it. Oh, that's so cool. I do like the new animation on its horn. Oh, versus the, uh, they had double there for a little bit when it disappeared. Ah, oh, disappeared. That is really cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to normal speed. So we have that updated, and then more polish over <clears throat> in the purple fence biome. So they've added grass which looks really, really good. It's multicolored. 
And then they've again continued to tweak the landscape. So let's see, we'll have this pop in. Let's go over here. Well, up. There it is. So that is the new grass. So prior to this, this didn't have anything. <clears throat> so I like the shape, but I really like the color of this. Looks really good. And just adding that next little bit of detail work to this. I'm going to take the water volume off. All right, so <clears throat> looking at the landscape, just the different grooves that they've put into this. Some of this I've highlighted before, but it's just literally more fine detail work in this. It's not just simply flat. And the amount of polish I'm seeing in this game is incredible. Back over here, this was all flat. You don't see it's flat anymore. You see little bumps and hills, and especially right here. All this used to just be flat. Now we're seeing just all those little nooks and crannies and everything in the landscape, and it's looking really good. On this other side, too, they've been doing work. I don't know what's going to go here. But they've been doing work on this, so we'll see. Beyond that too, I'm going to come underneath here, the different tunnels, which some of these they've already had, but they have refined them, so it's looking better. And there's just a lot of little tunnels in here now. And same thing, just all the little changes minor changes to the terrain which make this look way better all right let's bring that water volume back up they've even tweaked the um, area right here again <laughs> same thing minor changes but they've actually tweaked this again so we've highlighted some of the little detail work in here same thing they've tweaked that again and this is all listed on the subnautica uh, changes twitter account you can see it right here the different rocks Right, like this area looks different again <laughs> already. So, just the shape and everything, how they've carved it out, it's looking good. And then they have listed that they've actually tweaked the kind of trench area right here. I think that's what they called it. Harder to see right now, but this. They've tweaked this a little bit more, so we have more tunnels branching off of it and just little areas <clears throat> inside of it that uh, have been expanded a little bit, give it a little bit more character. We'll bring that water volume back on right here. It looks bigger too. And I know that's been a complaint, I've talked about it a couple times now, which is that the map is smaller, but the map is so intricate this time around. I think that's one of the bigger changes. Like, yeah, they've definitely increased this. It looks really good. That is awesome looking. Yeah, that looks way better. <clears throat> All right, so that is it for this video. Just highlighting some of the changes here. Now, they have... And actually, sorry, I want to do one more, one more thing before we get to this. They've changed this a little bit. So the entry point is the same, more detail work on everything here. Then coming up this side is actually a little bit different. Now this always came up like this, but we used to have more room up here. This goes to a really fine point now. Same thing on this side. So they have actually made it a little bit smaller. And then we're starting to see these points being added here onto these little island areas or iceberg areas. Still curious to see why we would come over here outside of just scanning this uh, architect satellite here, but we'll see. I think this is different too, by the way, right here. So yeah, there's been a little bit of work done on this as well. All right, so that is it. Um, story changes, they're still hidden, but they have, I've been just looking on the Subnautica Changes Twitter account. We're seeing 
the new music being added, the PDA names and the updates to those files. What is that guy doing? Um, the meteor shower being added back in because right now it's really not in here. You'll see little meteors here or there, but it's not implemented. Um, just a bunch of stuff being done behind the scenes, but like I said, it's not actually fully imp implemented. So it's in game. It's just we can't see it yet. So hopefully that gets unlocked within the next handful of days, maybe a week or so. But uh, we're going to see that re here uh, really, really soon. So that is it, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.